Okay, okay, okay. Bless up everybody. You don't know I am Heinz and today in hindsight, uh, today's topic is a highly requested one. I've been hesitant on doing this one. I've wanted to, but I've always wanted to do it with justice. Um, do it right. Um, do it big. I'm like that. But <laughs> Because it was requested twice this week and I'm shooting videos every single day. If you haven't noticed, if you have, if you're just tuning in, I've been posting videos every single day. Um, I'm going to for a while, mainly because I believe that our highest form of nutrition is in our expression and I want to vibrate higher. I want to connect with y'all and I'm having fun. I'm a little bit tired today. Um, you know, four videos in four days isn't easy, but I'm enjoying myself. Um, but today's topic is an important one. It's a, sen it's a sensitive one to me um it's 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 the celibacy it's my celibacy experience my celibacy journey um celibacy hands down was i think the most important decision i made in my life uh it was so transforming and it had a domino effect and really shaped and molded me into you know the hinds y'all you know get to experience today it's we're gonna get into it this is gonna be a few topics i mean a few videos for this topic and today how should we start why did i get into celibacy now if you go back a couple of videos i posted a podcast about how i used to work in the music industry i was living with sean kingston i was touring with him and tory lanes and whatnot and then all the way to a major different contrast the other side of the coin being celibate and traveling india and really tuning into my spiritual self so how does one go from a to z like that right celibacy was the turning point i went into celibacy because i hit a point in my life where i i lost all energy I wasn't happy. Uh, I remember I was actually coming out of a relationship and I didn't feel grounded in self. Something inside of me told me like, you're not living life the way you're meant to live. And I remember stumbling across some information. I, I came across a video on YouTube by, I think his name is uh, Cochise Taraksa. His name is now Damien. Well, not his name now, but his YouTube name now, I think is Damien something. And he had a video about semen retention. And I remember I watched this video when I was with, uh, I actually had a girlfriend at the time. I watched this video and the video connected with me so much. The fact that um, our semen is our creative energy, right? Our sexual energy is also our creative energy. And when we ejaculate, we lose that flow of energy. And that resonated with me innately for some reason. I remember telling my girlfriend at the time, she's like, get out of here. You don't want to have sex. Like I, I was truly trying to, become celibate while I was in a relationship. Fast forward out of the relationship. Now I can try celibacy. Um, so when I decided to go into celibacy, I, I didn't, I didn't have a lot of energy, right? I was touring the world. Everyone saw me in this light. They're like, man, you're killing it. But I wasn't that happy and I, I didn't feel like myself, even though I didn't even know what that was supposed to feel like. I didn't feel like myself and I couldn't tap into my creativity. I, I was losing all self of my ideas. It was just like it was losing. It was just disappearing from me. Right. So someone recommended a book. I was actually in a bookstore and I picked up a book and it was about Tantra and it was about sexual energy. And the guy in that book just recommended uh, another book about celibacy. And I was like, interesting, it's coming up again. Here's this celibacy topic coming up again. I'm at a point in my life where I wanna change. Let's do some research. Read a couple lines, you know, heard a couple things online. I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna do this. Like I, I right now, I just got, got out of a relationship. I don't like bouncing from one thing to the next. Let me try celibacy out. You know, I had nothing to lose, but only things to gain, I felt. When I, when I dove in, I'll be honest, I failed within the first month, but I failed because I went out one night, had some drinks. So I was a bit intoxicated. And then I seen a woman that, you know, I used to deal with. And then we went back, we did the thing. And the next day I felt so upset with myself that I embarked on this journey. And within the first month I failed, but I realized I didn't fail because I was in my conscious mind. I, I failed because I was intoxicated. So I realized if I wanted to really go into celibacy that I was going to have to quit drinking as well. Now I was only the kind of drinker that would drink with friends at parties and stuff like that. But I knew 
that wasn't even going to be allowed because I didn't want to slip up again. So I decided to quit drinking altogether. And at this time, I'm like, okay, so we're not going to have any sex. We're not going to have any alcohol. And then just because I like to go the distance with almost everything, I was like, well, if we're going to just remove these things that can also be crutches, let's remove marijuana as well. I was like, I don't even want to smoke got rid of the weed. So in one go, I decided to get rid of sex. I decided to get rid of weed and I decided to get rid of alcohol to see what was going to happen. Right. I had nothing to lose. Remember, I wasn't feeling creative. I wasn't feeling confident in self. And I just wanted, there was this deep feeling of wanting to grow. Like it was, it was expansive. It was just like, I felt it and I just wanted to live it out. I think we all always want to grow, but there comes a point in your life where you really have to listen to that feeling. So to retract, the main reason I went into celibacy was I wasn't feeling creative and I wasn't feeling confident in self. I wasn't feeling creative and I wasn't feeling confident in self. Now that I was starting to tune into like, you know, I put the woman aside, I put, you know, alcohol aside and I put smoking aside. I noticed my focus would become on only certain things myself. Like now that I wasn't consciously didn't want to have sex, I'd even look at women in that way. If I, if I was, if a girl hit me up and we were talking, I didn't even think about her body. I didn't even think about having sex with her. And a lot of times like we'll meet somebody and we can think of these things right away. So I was saving a lot of energy within my mind and I started to gain energy within my whole body. And then I started to notice my energy. And I'm not talking about energy as in like tired levels. Before I always just thought energy equated to if I feel awake or if I feel tired, but I'm talking about frequency. I'm talking about vibration. I'm talking about on an energetic level. And I didn't understand that before, before, before I went celibate, I understood this after I dug into celibacy because I started to feel the energy, right? Think about when you're interested in someone and you're on the chase, especially for men, you know, sometimes men, we could be in a chase and you know, you're texting a girl that's energy. You're thinking about getting with her. That's energy. All of that disappeared. All of that disappeared. And because I wasn't casually drinking or smoking, all the energy that went towards that disappeared. The energy just came back to myself. So I started to feel a lot of energy. And then automatically foods, certain foods wouldn't vibrate with me anymore. I used to eat like a very processed diet. Not, I can't even call that a diet. My lifestyle, I just, I've always been thin so I can always eat whatever I want. It didn't matter what I ate. So I ate whatever, you know, and I ate a lot of meat, rice, things like that. And my body wasn't resonating with these things anymore at the time. So I decided to have, I started getting smoothies, but now listen, my whole life, I really didn't eat much vegetables. I was a meat and rice type of guy. You understand? So I had to make smoothies. I got a Vitamix and all the vegetables and fruits I didn't like, I would just mix them all together and then drink the smoothies because it just tasted better. So I make the one fruit I love the most more dominant, like bananas or something. And this was a way for me to like, just get all my fruits and veggies. in. now I'm feeling like tons of energy. Let's say I'm about six months into celibacy. I'm feeling tons of energy. I'm not having sex, right? I'm not drinking. I'm not smoking. So all that energy is coming to myself and now I'm eating foods and I really dug into the raw food. So I'm bringing in all the natural source energy from all these raw foods. So I cut the meat out. I cut all the processed foods out and I was a process, I was a processed food person, like, you know, cookies, burritos, burgers, like anything, whatever I ate it now I'm only taking in vital energy. So the first six months, at first, my goal was one year of celibacy. Right now in my life, in the last six years, I've practiced celibacy for four and a half years. Um, the first goal was three years. So at the point that we're talking right now, I'm about six to 10 months in feeling this energy in my celibate journey and I'm loving it. And at the same time, I'm growing my hair. So look at the transformations, right? Like I'm getting rid of alcohol. I got rid of weed. I got rid of having sex. And then I'm now I'm eating completely different. Boom. And I'm growing my hair, right? So I'm actually experiencing a whole new experience within myself and my appearance because dreadlocks is a spiritual experience, right? I am transforming. This is what I mean by celibacy was a domino effect because of celibacy. It forced me to put away the alcohol. And then after that, I just decided to get rid of everything else toxic. And then what was the last thing? Any toxic friends I had disappeared because they weren't friends. I was becoming, I started, I created such an energetic field around myself that anything toxic, I just didn't want to be around. I became very sensitive 
to energy and in tune with my energy, I started to feel like myself again. I started to feel like the kid in me again, the child in me again. I could remember things when I was seven or eight and I'm like, that's the feeling I feel my inner child, my inner spirit. And it was starting to show. Now, people thought I was crazy. Understand this, you know, almost a year ago, I'm, uh, uh, I'm in Hollywood. I'm shooting, I'm with celebrities. I'm touring the world, doing cool shit. And then now I'm growing my hair. I'm only eating fruits and veggies, raw fruits and veggies. And I'm not partaking in so any social activities because everybody is doing things that I, I don't want to partake in. I was labeled crazy. Um, even my mom was worried because she was, loves me. But like, you know, when you stop eating dinner with the family because you're like, no, I don't eat that. They're like, what? what are you talking about? You know, so everyone thought I was crazy, but I was like living life. I was starting to I was finding more happiness in the morning time, just me and my smoothie. than you know, being literally in Hollywood in a room full of celebrities at a party. And like it was it was a weird contrast. I'm like, I'm creating energy living in my energy, living in my aura and it's bliss. And I had, I reached a point where I had zero crutches. I wasn't consuming sugar. Y'all I'm not consuming. I had zero crutches, no sugar, no processed foods. I wasn't using, I had no sex, no alcohol, no weed, no nothing. I'm only, I'm thriving off of my own energy. Now I'm not saying sex is a crutch, but when we're having meaningless sex, that is a crutch. I believe now, obviously there's 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 energy in, in liberating yourself through sex but this is a video about celibacy and the beauty of celibacy and i really think having sex should be a mental physical emotional experience not just a physical experience and this is what we're going to get into into another video because this is going to be like a three four five part series y'all y'all can already start to tell that i could talk about this for a very long time okay i have notes here um Now you may be thinking, okay, well, I haven't had sex for like a year, so I'm celibate. Celibacy is all about intention. You cannot have sex. You can be abstinent, but that's not celibacy. The point of celibacy is the intention. You're in, is the intention you go into it with and the intention you hold. You know, sometimes we don't have sex for a while. That doesn't mean you're, you're not, you're celibate. That doesn't mean you're creating energy because if your mind is constantly going there, if you're actually looking for a partner to have sex with, you're not celibate, right? Cause you're actually sending signals and energy that way. When you're celibate, none of those signals are going out. None of those frequencies are going out. And if you don't like the woo woo talk, like vibration and frequency or energy, just the attention and the focus isn't going out. It's only going inward. So celibacy is all about intention. It's the intention that, you know what? I'm going to learn about my energy. That's what celibacy to me is. It's a, it's a practice to study yourself and to learn about your energy. Because once you start to understand your energy, you can play and understand with other energies. After celibacy, after I was done, after three years, mom, if you're watching the video, you may not want to hear this. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Um, my sex life became amazing. I, I, I got into a relationship and it was the best sex ever. We'll talk about that in another video. So again, celibacy is all about intention, right? Now, once I'm a year, about a year in celibacy, about a year and a half, I'm feeling my energy. And again, it's all about energy. Now, if you're celibate, this is, this is, I'm going to say this part is mainly for men. If you're celibate, and you're still masturbating to me, that's not celibacy because you're losing energy. Celibacy is an energy practice. So again, while also I got rid of the alcohol, the weed, the processed foods, the toxic, toxic friends, I kick porn to the side as well and all masturbation, like, because I didn't want to lose energy. And I realized that actually wasn't healthy. I don't care. Like I've seen doctors, I've seen things online where people say, oh, you know, like masturbate, men should masturbate three times a week. No, that is, I'm, I'm strong on this fact. That is ridiculous because I got rid of that. I got rid of that. And I realized like, whoa, that was just like a toxic habit I had because there's no craving within myself to do that. Still to this point, that is not a part of my life. You understand one book that really helped me through this process. And I wish I had it here, which I should go grab it. Hold up y'all. While I go grab it, I'm gonna play a little tune for y'all. OK, 
Okay. Hope y'all like that tune. Um, the Taoist secrets of love, cultivating male sexual energy. Now there's a woman's version as well, but this is actually version is actually both very strong for women and men to read. Women, I high, highly suggest you promote your men, the men in your family, the men you're friends with to get into celibacy because I think every man and woman should experiment with celibacy at some point in their life to cultivate energy because sexual energy is a huge dominant force. When we look, we're going to get back to this book in a second. When we look at society and this is a big this is a, this is why I'm very proud of my celibacy. When I look at society and I look at some of the most powerful and famous men, let's look at Kevin Hart. Love Kevin Hart. Let's look at Jay-Z. Love Jay-Z. Let's look at Let's just use those two because there's a lot of celebrities that I could talk about right now. Both these men have amazing women, like beautiful women. Jay-Z got Beyonce. Kevin Hart got, I think her name is Anika, and she is beautiful. They're both successful men, families, and they cheat. To me, why? Why? It's because sexual energy is one of the is the most powerful energy we have. It's the same energy that creates life. It's the same energy that triggers us to go mate. So this is a powerful energy, right? And like I said, our tools become obstacles when we don't know how to use them. If we don't know how to, do not know how to use this sexual energy, they become obstacles, and ultimately we trip and stumble on our own energy. A look, men and women are constantly cheating are constantly being unfaithful when they're in these committed relationships because they're sexual. And maybe there, obviously there's other reasons, sometimes emotional things and whatnot. But for men, it's, just, it's, it's a lack of having control of your sexual energy, understanding your sexual energy, right? It's a dominant force. And, it, it, and when it starts to act up and arise, you're like, oh my God, I got to use it. But we can transmute it. Now, this book was great for that. The Tao is Secrets of Love, Cultivating Sexual Energy by Mantak Chia. Mantak Chia has a YouTube channel. He posts videos almost every single day about the Tao, about energy, cultivating energy, sexual energy, an amazing book. So while I'm celibate, I'm reading this book and I'm learning all about semen retention. I'm learning all about how our life force is through our sexual energy. Now, I made a video and if I can find a video, I'm going to play it. But I made a video where I was like, I'm in India and I'm like, I got so much energy. I just got to release it because I did. Yeah, man, Josh really the one that, you know, show me the light. And I traveled across the globe looking for something and I stumbled across purpose. You know, this time around, I'm doing it differently. This time around, I understand what I'm here for. You know, powered by a job in association with hindsight. I got energy, and I just feel like I gotta give it back. Yo, in hindsight, I'm gonna give it all back. Shit, that's why I fuck with Heinz, dog. Nigga, you know, I knew like, Heinz is a mastermind. Yeah. Nigga. It's a vibe thing. I'm, I, all toxic habits and crutches came out of my life and had all this energy. And now I had to learn how to transmute it because energy has to flow. Energy has to go somewhere, right? This book helped me understand about my sexual energy and how to transmute it. So. I'm practicing semen retention at the same time. I'm not masturbating. And at the same time, now I'm like, well, I wasn't feeling creative and now I have all this energy. Now let's transmute it. That's when I started creating again. That's when I started putting all the energy I created into my content, into my creations. That's everything you guys see me do is because of celibacy, is because I started to understand my energy understand how to flow with it understand how to bring it through my system from my lower chakras to my higher chakras this is real you understand celibacy is all about energy learning about self understanding self and tuning into yourself this is a spiritual practice now i only made my goal of one year but once i hit it i was like i'm rocking why would i stop now 
I went three years because to be honest, it was the most beautiful experience. And now when I meet women, I can have, I've always been able to have really good friendships with women, but now I have even better friendships with women. And my mind doesn't just go to sex. I need to be mentally stimulated and physically stimulated to be into you. If I'm not mentally into you, I'm not going to physically go there. Why? Because I don't move on an animalistic urge anymore. Most men are moving on like you feel horny, you feel the sexual energy and you try to go act on it. Either you go find a mate or you go masturbate. <laughs> Complete waste of energy. When you can transmute that into something you want to grow in your life, either yourself, a business, your creativity, your family, whatever. This is the greatest energy on the planet is a sexual energy. It's a creative energy, right? It's the same energy that sparks the, the desire to go mate and produce life, right? How, does, how, do baby, how are babies born, everybody? Well, you know, two grown adults come together. They mate because they feel the sexual energy and they produce life. So when you feel that energy, you have the ability to produce life into the things you want to grow. Business, creativity, yourself, right? I'm only in about one year and a half, a year about this journey so far, everything I've talked about. Um, and we're gonna leave it there because like I said, this is a few top, this is a, this is a series of videos and we can get really into it. So to wrap everything up in short, the reason why I went into celibacy was I wasn't feeling creative and I wanted to grow. That was the intention I wanted to grow celibacy had a domino effect and it kicked every toxic desire and toxic habit out of my life i started to understand my energy i started to play with my energy and then i started to transmute my energy into the things that need nourishing nourishing in my life my creativity my wisdom my perspective right my confidence my self-love after i had that i took all this energy and i transmuted it and I do this on a daily basis. Now, I, maybe you're wondering, well, is Heinz still celibate? I was celibate for three years. And then from celibacy, I went into a relationship. I had a year and a half relationship, had the best sex of my life because I was celibate for three years and I understood energy. So I was able to connect with my woman at the time on another level. Most men, you're having sex with your woman for yourselves. Once you go celibate, and once your your goal isn't to bust a nut, ejaculate, semen, sorry for the language, but we got to talk about it. When that's not your goal anymore, you transmute that and you have real union, real compassion, real journey through sex. After that relationship ended, because, you know, most things come to an end. I went back into celibacy. Conscious celibacy? Yes and no. I'm not hard, strong celibate right now, but I'm just... I don't, I won't have sex unless I'm mentally and physically stimulated by somebody or I feel a good connection. Sex is energy to me. So if I'm not feeling your energy, I'm not going there. I don't care how good you look. You understand? That's the power. That's the gift that celibacy has given to me. It's given me power over my sexual energy. I can't fall. I don't believe, I don't think so. I won't fall because of this physical attraction. I'm not falling because of my sexual energy. That's the beauty of celibacy. So again, we're going to talk about this again. Um, I'm not sure when it could be tomorrow because I will see you tomorrow. But yeah, um, if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the box. This is a this is a very big topic and there's so much to go on. Again, book I recommend Taoist Secrets of Love, Cultivating Sexual Energy, Energy by Mantak Chia. We can get into this book in the next video. There's a lot of diagrams talking about how to circulate the energy, about real union. Women, this is a great book. This, 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 I think men and women should both try celibacy. Anja and uh, <sighs> this tea is blessed. <laughs> You don't know in hindsight everything gonna be all right. Yeah, we power by ja and it's a vibe ting. Please subscribe, comment what you want to hear more about, and it's a vibe ting, and I will see you tomorrow. Bless.